Greetings everyone. On behalf of Think Next Technologies, I am delighted to extend a warm welcome to another captivating video tutorial. Today, our focus will be on the intriguing topic of Mirantis KOS. This video is prepared by our Kubernetes expert Abhishek Mazumdar and is presented by Shruti Bhardwaj. Join us for an engaging session. In this tutorial, we will provide an introduction to KOS, then brief you about the history of KOS, its features, and architecture. In the end, we will explore installation methods and discuss the support of Mirantis KOS. Without any further delay, let's begin our journey. Mirantis KOS, a remarkable Kubernetes distribution that stands out in the realm of CNCF certified solutions. Let's understand what makes Mirantis KOS a noteworthy open source platform that aligns seamlessly with CNCF's mission to advance cloud native technologies. Mirantis KOS is more than just a Kubernetes distribution. It's a powerful open source solution that has been certified by Cloud Native Computing Foundation, CNCF. It has a diverse ecosystem that supports edge computing and adheres to industry standards for cloud native computing. The community behind KOS is driven by collaboration and innovation, making it reliable and cutting edge choice for your computing needs. It's a streamlined and lightweight platform designed to simplify the deployment and management of Kubernetes clusters. This ease of use makes it an attractive choice for a diverse range of applications, from traditional cloud deployments to specialized edge and IoT scenarios. In essence, Mirantis KOS shines as a reputable and open source Kubernetes distribution. Its certification signifies its alignment with industry standards and best practices, as well as its commitment to fostering community-driven innovation in the cloud native space. Mirantis is a well-known company in the cloud and containerization space, particularly for its expertise in Kubernetes. The company has a history of providing solutions and services for Kubernetes deployments. Mirantis KOS was born out of the need for an incredibly lightweight Kubernetes distribution. The development team behind the Mirantis Lens IDE sought to add extensions to their Kubernetes IDE and realized they required an ultra lightweight and versatile distro. Consequently, they took matters into their own hands and created KOS. You see Namalin, Mirantis' senior principal engineer and co-founder of KOS, emphasized the team's goal to establish a modern, robust foundation that could cater to a wide range of Kubernetes use cases. This included everything from standard cloud-based deployments to specialized edge IoT scenarios. To ensure focus on core issues rather than OS distro maintenance, they opted for a packaging model centered around a single binary, avoiding the complexities of DEBs, RPMs, and similar packaging formats. The shortened form should be pronounced as KOS, not K0S, to distinguish it from Mirantis KOS. The choice of O in KOS signifies its aim to eliminate developer friction. KOS is delivered as a standalone binary, devoid of dependencies on a host operating system beyond the kernel. It doesn't demand a specific OS distribution or additional installed packages. From now on, any potential vulnerabilities or performance concerns will be addressed directly within the KOS distribution. Few of the standout features of KOS that makes it an exceptional choice for Kubernetes cluster management are KOS is CNCF certified as 100% upstream Kubernetes ensuring compatibility with the broader Kubernetes ecosystem. It offers multiple installation methods, including single node, multi-node, and air gap setups. KOS streamlines cluster management with KOS CTL, automating crucial tasks like upgrades and backups. It's resource efficient, with the requirement of only one vCPU and one GB of RAM. Installation is hazel-free, with a single binary package and minimal dependencies. KOS provides flexible deployment options, scales effortlessly from single nodes to large clusters. 
and supports custom CNI and CRI plugins with Cube Router and Calico as options. Storage options include CSI and support for various data store backends like etcd, SQLite, MySQL, and PostgreSQL. It's compatible with hardware architectures x86, ARM64, ARM7, and includes essential services like connectivity, core DNS, metric server to enhance cluster functionality. The heart of KOS lies in its packaging. It's encapsulated in a single self-contained binary. This ingenious packaging method ensures that it's statically compiled, meaning it doesn't rely on any specific operating system. This eliminates the need for OS-level dependencies, RPMs, snaps, or any other OS-specific packaging. It allows for meticulous version control of each dependency, simplifying the management process. The KOS control plane components include the ETCD, API server, scheduler, controller manager, and connectivity server. These components work together to manage and orchestrate the resources and applications within the KOS platform. Interestingly, it doesn't run a container engine or kubelet by default on controllers. That means a user can't schedule workloads onto controller nodes. Instead, KOS empowers users to create, manage, and configure each component as a process without containerization. This approach offers greater control and flexibility. KOS allows you to manage core worker components as standalone processes on the worker node. The KOS kubelet is a core component that manages and runs container on each node. It communicates with the KOS control plane components to ensure efficient and optimized resource allocation for the application running on the platform. By default, KOS workers utilize container D as a high-level runtime and run C as a low-level runtime. However, the architecture also supports custom runtimes, allowing users to choose the runtime that best suits their needs. KOS supports CNI providers like Cube Router and Calico for seamless in-cluster networking. It also allows custom CNI configurations. When deploying with default settings, nodes can communicate without additional setup. Cube Router is the default provider using standard Linux networking. Calico, an alternative, operates at layer 3, enhancing security with network policies. Users can configure CNI plugins by setting custom in the KOS configuration. The connectivity service facilitates communication between controllers and worker nodes, maintaining control plane isolation. We need to ensure the outbound access on port 8132 and 6443 for connectivity and Cube API functionality. We must also configure our firewalls for outbound access on port 6443 to access Cube API from the worker nodes. While traditional Kubernetes control planes primarily support etcd as the data store, KOS takes a step further. It introduces supports for a variety of data store options, including Kine. This means you can choose from backend data stores like MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQLite, and DQLite. Additionally, KOS expertly manages the lifecycle of the etcd cluster in case of its usage, simplifying the management process. KOS supports multiple popular storage solutions like Rookcef, MinIO, Gluster, Longhorn, Amazon EBS, Google Persistent Disk, Azure Disk, and Portworks. Mirantis KOS cluster consists two types of nodes as control plane node and worker node. KOS supports various installation methods, including single node, all-in-one installation, KOS CTL installation, manual installation, Docker, Ansible playbook installation, and air gap installation. Mirantis KOS offers comprehensive support for users ranging from beginners to seasoned professionals. Their dedicated team provides tailored support plans, granting access to knowledge bases and expert engineers for effective issue resolution. Additionally, KOS encourages community interaction, creating a space for users to exchange knowledge and seek advice. Mirantis is committed to keeping KOS up to date with the latest updates and patches 
ensuring user access cutting edge tools. Whether you are a developer or system administrator, KOS support is designed to boost your confidence and success in managing Kubernetes clusters. With Mirantis, you are supported at every step. Mirantis KOS is a lightweight CNCF certified Kubernetes distribution that excels in simplicity and versatility. Its single binary packaging and support for various installation methods ensure ease of use. KOS commitment to security, scalability, and compatibility with a broader Kubernetes ecosystem makes it an excellent choice for developers and system administrators. With strong community support, and dedicated backing from Mirantis, KOS is poised to play a pivotal role in the future of cloud native computing. That's it for now. Thank you for tuning into our tutorial. We hope you found it informative and enjoyable. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful content like this. See you in the next video.